All right, prediction time. Triple G versus uh, Saul Canelo Alvarez. What are you doing, Chaz? Oh, don't be shy now. In the rematch, baby. Okay, I rewatched this fight and the first one, and it was closer than I thought. Yeah. Uh, initially, I thought Triple G won by like eight rounds to four. But I watched it again. I gave it seven rounds to five. It could have went either way. Close rounds. Triple G was the aggressor. Uh, Canelo was landed the more effective blows. Triple G led with the jab and uh, effective aggressiveness. Canelo just kind of let the fight slip because he did not throw enough. And he was going off the back foot and he was starting to gas. Triple G didn't want to go to the body either while... Canelo was on the ropes because he was fearful of getting countered. Don't move so much, huh? Probably trying to do the videos. So, watching the tape again thoroughly, Canelo has the ability to win this fight if he stays on the inside and trades with Triple G. That's when he had his best work. And uh, countering... Off the ropes, but not staying on the ropes too long. Get off the ropes. He needs to use more lateral movement. Canelo, that is. Um, Triple G needs to work behind the jab. Set up more heavier shots behind the jab. But he is significantly slower than Canelo. Uh, what else did I notice? Canelo's gas tank. That's what's killing him. If he had a better gas tank, he would easily outbox the slower, more flat-footed Golovkin. But Golovkin can absorb more punches. Thus, he was able to walk Canelo down and be the more active fighter. So it could have went either way in the re in the original fight. But um, the judges like the pressure and aggressive aggression of Golovkin. God, I'm all over the place. You get what I give you. Anyhow, in the rematch today, um, I'm going... It just depends who implements their game plan. I'm going to go, initially I was going with Triple G again, but then after I watched the fight. Hold on, we got to get this. Uh, after we wa I watched the fight again, I think Canelo, if he comes in lighter, which he did, or looks thinner. I don't think he cheated for the prior fight. I think he cheated in the uh, initiated rematch. Initiated, I don't know what the hell I'm saying. It's been a long day. So with that said... I believe Canelo, Canelo, the younger fighter, will make the proper adjustments and stay off the ropes, use more lateral movement to throw off the slower, plodding Triple G. Uh, Canelo is a better boxer, in my opinion. It's just he gasses out. So what the, all that said, when it boils down to, my prediction is... I'm going against the grain, and I think Canelo will make the right adjustments. I think Triple G is what he is, and Canelo still has the ability to improve. You so cute, time. So I'm going with Canelo, the faster, more technically sound fighter. I'm going with Canelo by split decision or unanimous. I don't know. Depends what the judges want to do. What are you doing? So I'm going with Canelo. Triple G can win this if he stays more active. But I think you got the best of Triple G in the first fight. Canelo, split decision. Final answer. We will see after.